Washington. December 4 The United States is running out of time and money to help Ukraine fight against Russia. And the White House officials warned the Congress leaders on Monday. In October, Democratic President Joe Biden asked Congress about $106 billion to finance ambitious plans for Ukraine, Israel and U.S. border security. But Republicans rejected package of Republicans who control House. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan told reporters, Congress, to support the struggle for freedom in Ukraine or to ignore the lessons we have learned from history Vladimir Putin and decide to dominate. A vote against supporting Ukraine is a vote to improve Putin's strategic position. This is just inevitable, said Young. I won't be open without Congress action until the end of year to supply more weapons and equipment for Ukraine and provide equipment from U.S. military stocks will run out of resources. We did not stay and we have almost no time. The Congress has approved more than $110 billion for Ukraine since Russia's February 2022 invasion. But the Republicans have not approved any funds since they took over from the Democrats in January. On social media, Johnson said that Biden administration could largely handle Republican concerns about Ukrainian strategy and that any national security expenditure package should contain funds for U.S. border. We believe that both problems can be understood that the Senate Democrats and the White House will reasonably negotiate, Johnson said in X, previously called Twitter. The fact that the House could not consider the White House demand expressed concerns Kiev that financing for Kiev would never be approved after passing a bill to Ukraine in November, especially Israel. Young said that U.S. allies have increased their support to Ukraine, but Washington's support could not be changed. By mid-November, the U.S. Department of Defense had exercised 97 additional funds and Ministry Foreign Affairs used a $4.7 billion military aid fund, where it was allocated, in humanitarian aid, an economic aid money of approximately $27.2 billion, such as $10 billion, ran out. I have to help Ukraine's defense future of Ukraine's defense and future. As a dominant. Democratic, independent, prosperous nation's national security interests. It prevents a greater conflict that can include NATO in the region, damage U.S. forces, and prevent future aggression, make us all safer. The letter also went to the Democrat Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell and Democratic leader Hakeem Jeffries, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. Biden management officials will receive briefings classified for the Assembly and the Senate on Tuesday, before the 2024 presidential elections. Young, who waved to important political swing states and Republican castles, said that financing can be used for contracts with companies in Alabama, Texas, Georgia, Western Virginia, Wisconsin and Michigan. Democratic Senator Mark Warner said last week.